after many 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 hours of driving we are finally here girl boss girl boss Big up yourself. I'm ready. So the very first stop in this vlog is Choco Cove, Sandy Bay. Now this is located in the parish of Hanover and if you know anything about Jamaica and the distance between or distance from Kingston to Hanover, it's very long. It's very long. It was almost four hours worth of driving four to five hours worth of driving so i do recommend if you can go in a group where you guys can carpool and your multiple drivers to take over the wheel or even if you could just book a staycation nearby because driving to and fro in the same day is going to wipe you out so i saw this little deal on gustazos and if you know anything about me i'm all about the deals and saving coins so i saw this deal on gustazos and said yes i'm gonna get this because this looks like it's a fun thing and trust me it did not disappoint the property is beautiful and it's perfect for someone who is interested in adventure if you're interested in doing things this is perfect for you there's so many things that you can do so you can you can do the horseback riding you can do zip lining you can do atv bikes you can do um kayaking and paddle boards there's also a beach there there's a pool there as well there's a bar there's a restaurant there's so many things that you can do all at this one location now i really wanted you guys to hear the background and really hear how you know things are and get a vibe but you know how that copyright thing goes and youtube so i'm just gonna have you guys listen to this nice little background music with my voice telling you how things was because <laughs> that's what we're gonna do but it was such a vibe i enjoyed myself but there is a but the pricing the pricing child Woo! it was a lot it's very expensive um and so here's an example i had asked what was the cost for like soda a bottle of soda and the bottle of soda is 600 dollars. i know we're going through you know a time where things are rough and there's inflation and all of that but man 600 dollars for soda really took me out but apart from that everything is nice the vibe was nice and all that jazz now if you know anything about me you know i'm a kid at heart and so i could not pass up the opportunity to play with these little float things that they gave us unfortunately i didn't remember how to get into it and so i was stuck and carrie spent the whole time laughing at me and recording me instead of helping me out of the float anywho follow carrie on youtube at honesty thompson One thing about Kerry, she's going to tell people to subscribe to her channel. So here we are promoting ourselves and getting ourselves some subscribers. So our next stop in this vlog is Bamboo Beach Club and it's in Falmouth, I believe. Don't call me on it. I believe it's in Falmouth. You can follow their Instagram page though and they'll give you all the information you need about the location. I know in the beginning you saw this little dirt track road and probably wondered where am I going? It looks, it's very unassuming. It, it's giving wrong turn vibe but when you get to the end of the road there's gold because this beach is really nice man. It's nice. It's very clean. Well kept. That, that is one thing I'll definitely give them. It's well kept. It's a thousand Jamaican dollars to get in and the the fee gives you a chair so you get one of these nice chairs for you to lounge and look out on the sea so um we didn't really stay here very long 
because we had spent most of the time driving and then we spent some time at Choco Cove. So we decided to like close off the day at the beach here. So, you know, we were just vibing, of course, pricing. Let's talk about pricing in this parish. Man, they're expensive. Mobe is expensive. Outside of Kingston is expensive. Nobody can get me to live outside of Kingston. Because <laughs> price of living is expensive. Apart from the pricing guys, I like the place. I really like the place a lot. It's it's like a hidden gem. It's a hidden gem because the location is you can't necessarily see the beach from the front, which is like the main road. You do have to turn off to get in. So it's um, a hidden gem. Um, they do seem to have a lot of traffic on Saturdays though. So if you're not into like the crowd, you can maybe opt for a weekday visit. But you can find all the information, as I said before, on their Instagram page. I'll put the link in the description. They have a lot of specials for groups. So if you want to come as a group, if you want to come with your family, even if you want to come with your boo thing, this would be a nice little vibe. If you're not about the crowd, I would recommend this spot and as you can see they have entertainment as well so I'm just gonna you know mute myself for a little bit so you guys can enjoy the views because I think it's a vibe <laughs> It's the glow for me. Kerry, one festival, one hundred dollars. <laughs> Why you mean darkness, Kerry? There's no light apparently. <laughs> one festival, one hundred dollars, and uh, minutes in a generator come up here. <laughs> you know we're hungry and such. One festival, one hundred dollars. We're hungry and such, so we had to stop at um. What is this place called again? Scotchies. Scotchies. It's really expensive, I'm not lying. Oh. You're not gonna embarrass me like that. Yeah, I find the whole parish is expensive. Everywhere we go is way too expensive because it's for tourists, not, it's for, not for us. Not for the locals, not for you and I. Yeah, yeah. Not for lo us locals. Mm -mm. Okay, so this is $150 for this amount of fries, guys. I'm not even joking. I'm over the parish of St. Anne. It's not for me because it's very expensive. 